Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Kimball here. I uh, wanted to record a quick video that's going to be talking about the formatting of your paper before you submit it uh, for your, your final draft that's going to be graded. Um, so let me get rid of my face here and tell you what I've done. I, I pulled up an old student essay from a previous assignment, a previous year, uh, so I can walk you through some of the formatting things and make sure that your page is set up. And what I'm going to ask you to do is make sure that you have mimicked the process that I'm giving to you here. So it's very possible that you can stop and pause this video and do the thing that I'm asking you to do and make sure that your paper is consistent with what I'm uh, showing you. So what I have first here, the expectations, you've already seen this. This was part of your common application essay uh, expectations. I copied and pasted that here. I don't want to go through all of those details. You already have them. We've already been through them. Um, and I'm going to go through a lot of that here in just a couple of moments, especially this font, the size, the alignment, and all that extra stuff there. Okay. Just a reminder, you if you are on the Monday schedule, then your paper is due by the end of the day on November 23rd. So officially three o'clock, but try to do your best to get it done before the end of the class hour. And then for those of you on the Tuesday schedule, then yours is due on the 24th uh, of November. So make sure that that is all taken care of. So let me get rid of all this. We don't need all that. That was just a quick reminder. Okay, and then I'm gonna show you what I have here. This is an old student paper. And of course I changed the, the original student name. Uh, we're not dealing with Friday the 13th here. And there's some things that I see right away, and this is why I want to talk to you through this. There's some things that I see right away that are not good, okay? I see that the date is not good. I see there's extra space between paragraphs. I see there's different fonts and different textures going on here. So there's several things that are on my alert. Uh, and then as far as the writing piece, any of these things are underlined. That means there's something going on there. So those things should all be cleaned up by the time that you get your paper to me. So this is why I'm doing this, having this conversation with you and showing you. So let's clear the air. Let's make sure that everything is the way it's supposed to be. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to hit control A and I'm going to make sure that my entire page is highlighted. So I'm going to make some changes to the whole page and make sure that it's all uh, consistently good. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure it's all in the same font. Okay, I'm just going to go left to right of my tool screen here. So I'm going to start with make sure it's all the same font. I'm going to choose Times New Roman because remember we need something that is more professional. I do not want any of the creative things. You guys all know that. And the next thing I'm going to do is make sure it's all the same size. I'm going to make sure it's 12. That is the expectation. So it's Times New Roman 12 and I don't see there's any bold or highlighted stuff uh, right away, so I'm just going to leave that alone. And I'm going to go over and make sure that my color is the same. And let's just clear the air and make it all the same. Make it black, okay? So the top left, just go ahead and make it black. Sometimes whenever you copy and paste from other pages, it might be in a gray or it might be a different color uh, altogether. Don't do that. So make sure it is black. So times 12 black ink. And then the next thing I'm going to do is make sure that it is on the left alignment. So I'm clicking there. I'm going to that left alignment. I'm going to go ahead and click that. And right away, I know that I need to correct the title. And I'll remember that and I'll get to that in just a second. And then since I'm still, I have the whole thing highlighted still. Next thing I want to click on is the double spacing. So line spacing here. And I'm going to go ahead and click that double space to make sure that the entire page is correctly double spaced. And I just want to make sure there's nothing extra that I need to worry about. I'm not doing any of that. Okay. Now that I've kind of cleaned up my general appearance, now I need to go into the text and fix very specific things. First of all, you notice this is kind of in the right format, but not exactly. It's not what it's laid out to be um, in that expectation page. So the first thing, student name, perfectly fine. Next thing is going to be your class name and the hour. So I'm going to move that up. Okay, that should be there. And then I'm going to move my name back down here. You do not need my first name, so go ahead and get rid of that. Okay, so student name, class name, and it'll be in that format. Yours will actually be uh, English 4 
applied or just English for, and then how the student has the dash with the class hour, you'll do the same thing. So if you're in first hour, it'll say English for applied dash first hour or second hour. And then if you're in my regular class, it'll just say English for dash third hour, dash fourth hour, dash fifth hour, dash sixth hour, whichever class you're in, go ahead and put the hour there. You will put my name, Mr. Kimball. And then for those of you that are also with Mr. Spidell, you'll just put and Mr. Spidell. Okay, just like that. You do not need to put our first names there. And then the date, that needs to be different. Do not give me this format. That is incorrect. You will lose points, okay? For you guys, it'll be, uh, let's just use the Monday date. It'll, um, I don't know why that, 23 November 2020. Uh, make sure you spell out November, okay? There's no commas, periods, nothing extra there, okay? So it should look like that, okay? Now, the next thing I noticed, the title. That needs to be centered, so I'm going to put my cursor at the front of that, and I'm just going to go up and center. I'm going to go down, go up to my alignment up here and I'm going to hit center and that should move it to the center. That's perfectly fine. Now there is not extra space between those two, but there's clearly extra space here and that does not need to happen. So get rid of that extra space. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the end of the word of my title and I'm going to hit delete a couple of times until that um, got fat fingers and hit that twice until that space is removed. Now I know that the rest of the page is already double spaced and it's at the left alignment. So I don't need to worry about that anymore. The other thing, and I noticed some of you do this and I, I still don't understand why you do this. Um, when you're, well, come on. I went too far there. When you guys are typing your paragraph, some of you hit that space bar and you try to go over a whole bunch of times and it's not always consistent. Don't do that, please. Uh, don't do that because there is a very clear tool uh, that you need. And I need to make sure I get my alignment back. Okay. Uh, so just be at the front of the line there and hit the tab. Hit the tab one time. That's all you need to do. Just hit the tab. Don't worry about spaces and all that extra stuff. So I've cleaned up the header. I made sure there's no space between the header and the title. I made sure there's no extra space between the title and the first line of the first paragraph. I made sure that I am tabbed here, not hitting the space bar. And then I noticed that there's extra space between paragraphs. That should not be. So I'm going to go to the end of that paragraph. I'm going to hit delete until that line space is gone, the next line should just be the first line of the paragraph, okay? So no extra spaces is what I'm trying to get everyone to understand. You should not have the extra spaces between paragraphs like this one, that does not need to be there again. So I'm gonna go to the end of that line and I'm gonna hit delete so that that space is deleted. So from top to bottom, make sure that you're consistent. Now the whole page uh, as I just fly through it pretty quickly, the whole space, the, the whole page is consistently spaced and that's the way yours should look. And then I'm also looking at the far left, that line alignment is all to the left and that's perfect. The only thing that's different is the beginning of each paragraph, which is tabbed over one time. All right. That's how it should look. Now, the extra thing that I wanted to show you, and this is for those of you that are watching the video. Uh, this is a small reward. I need two things. Number one, I did not ask you guys to include page numbers. So uh, the first thing to ensure that you get extra points is you're going to put the page number in correctly. So you're going to go to insert and you're going to go to page numbers. Now I know some of yours might have those things combined. Just make sure you're on page number. And then you're going to choose the one with the number one and number two in the top right corner. So click that and you should have what appears like a header looking thing. There should be a cursor blinking behind the number one. Put your cursor in front of the number one and type in your last name. 
And since this student made up name is Freddy Krueger, uh, I'm typing Krueger. And then I put the space there and then number one. And then I'm just going to cl uh, click one time down into the page so that the name and number shows up at the top of the page on every page. Okay, that's how yours should look. So that's the first thing that's going to ensure that you are uh, given a couple of extra points for the total. And then the last thing, and this really lets me know that you paid attention to the video, is type down at the bottom of your page, the bottom of your last page. It doesn't have to go into another page. Just type live the B dash radical life. And for those of you that are aware of that, that's what I use with my uh, podcast thing. So it's just that's just the first thing that popped into my head because I'm actually working on developing a podcast right now, too. So it's fresh in my mind. That will ensure that you get extra points. Um, OK, live the B dash radical life. Uh, you do that. You get extra points. That lets me know that you did actually watch the video. OK, uh, I think that's all that I need to go through. The rest of the time is just yours. Make sure that your paper is perfect by the time you hand it in by uh, at the end of the hour. Make sure that you are putting it inside of Google Classroom. Uh, it is It should be attached to uh, the assignment that's already been posted for you. All right, guys, have a great day, and I will see you sometime after December 1st. Talk to you later.